He's slow, he doesn't hit homers, and he doesn't even hit the ball hard, and he is almost literally the worst defensive player in the league. But he's Ichiro's favorite player, and he should be your favorite player too. Luis Arias was never a top prospect. In 2019, the year he made his major league debut, he was ranked as the 17th best prospect in the Twins organization. He was nowhere near the top 100 in overall prospects. In the Twins organizations, he was behind guys like Akil Badu, who the Twins let go for next to nothing in the Rule 5 draft, and Lewis Thorpe a relief pitcher who plays an indie ball just three years later. And while the Twins had one of the better farm systems in the game at the time, being ranked the 17th best prospect in any team's organization usually means you're a fringe major leaguer at best. Fast forward three years later and Luis Arias is looking like an all-star, but he's not the sexy kind. Arias doesn't hit bombs. The most homers he's hit in a season is four, and even though he's on track to shatter that this year, he's still only on pace to hit a whopping 10 homers. In 2019, MLB Pipeline gave him a 45 run grade and a 40 field grade and those ratings are looking far too generous. As a 25 year old, the 5'10 Arias is in the 42nd percentile in sprint speed and nearly dead last in outs above average, meaning he is almost quite literally the worst defensive player in the league. He's essentially a DH, but he doesn't DH because the Twins don't have a good first baseman. They have the 24 year old Jose Miranda, but he's been one of the worst players in the league. So instead, they've used Arias at first, but he's not a natural first baseman and in fact, he's the short shortest player on the team. Although he came up as a second baseman, the Twins have played him everywhere. Third base, left field, shortstop, and now first base. But the problem? He's been terrible nearly everywhere he's played. In 2019, he was worth negative 10 outs above average, the 12th worst in all of major leagues, and he played less than 50 games at second that season. While he's improved at second, being only slightly negative this season, and actually being positive at first, he's still one of the worst defensive players in the league. Why? Because despite only playing 5 games at third base this year, he's cost his team seven runs because of his defense. For context, Jonathan VR, the literal worst defensive player in the majors right now, has played 15 games at third and only been worth negative two outs above average. And even at short, where he's been worth negative three outs above average in just 17 innings, he's still not as bad as Arias at third on an inning basis. But that's enough slander about Arias. I'm supposed to be telling you why this guy should be one of your favorite players. After all, if Ichiro loves this dude, you have to love this dude or else you don't love baseball. Let's start with his hitting before the pitch even reaches the plate. While Arias isn't going to hit bombs when he makes contact, there's a good chance he will make contact on a pitch in the zone. This season when a pitch has been in the strike zone, he swung about 63% of the time. This is far from free swinger territory as it's 126th out of 150 among guys with at least 100 plate appearances. However, it's what happens when he does swing. Because when he does swing at pitches in the zone, he's making contact 93.5% of the time. This dude never whiffs in the zone. If he's swinging at a pitch, it's because he knows he can make contact. And what about pitches out of the zone? He's 39th in the league in chasing, putting him in roughly the 80th percentile, which is fine, but is he swinging and missing out of the zone? Of course not, he's Luis Arias. He's first in the league in out of zone contact. Even if a pitch is out of the zone, when he swings, he's making contact 90.8% of the time. This is insane. Steven Kwan, who is second in the league in out of zone contact percentage, is nearly 3% worse than Arias when it comes to making contact. Contact. And there are only 6 players in the entire league with an ozone contact rate with an even 10%. And because of this, that means Arias is hardly striking out. He has only 20 strikeouts on the season, and 20% of those have been looking. And this leads me to the second reason why you should love Arias. While he hardly strikes out, he's no Will and Zastadio. The negative of this is that Arias strikes out 2.5% more than the King of Contact. The positive, however, is that he walks 3.5 times more than La Tortuga. Arias, even with elite contact abilities, still takes plenty of walks. He's no Juan Soto out there, but having a walk rate in the 80th percentile means that you're going to get on base plenty, even if you have a low batting average. But Arise doesn't have a low batting average. He doesn't have an average average. He doesn't even have a high batting average. He has the highest batting average in baseball. And like with Tim Anderson, it's not as lucky as it looks. Despite having below average exit velocity, both in terms of max exit velocity and average exit velocity, when Arise hits the ball, projections believe he's going to get on base more times than not. And despite being a lefty with below average speed, teams can't shift him the same way they would shift someone like Max Muncy, because Luis Arias is unpredictable. He hits the ball to the opposite field far more than he pulls the ball, but where he hits the ball most is straight up the middle, doing it nearly 40% of the time. He also doesn't hit a lot of fly balls, and while this is bad for hitting homers, this is good for someone who doesn't hit the ball hard. See, if you were to take his average exit velocity and hit it at the same launch angle that is the sweet spot for homers, you would see that balls would fall for hits less than 1% of the time. However, if you take 
take that same exit velocity and turn it into a line drive, you can expect it to be a hit nearly 50% of the time. And that's exactly what the Risa Arias does. Rather than hitting fly balls that turn into easy outs, Arias has decided to maximize his potential for hits by slapping the ball all around the field. And Arias never pops out, he never hits the ball weakly, and he hits the ball where the defense isn't, making it nearly impossible to shift against him despite him being a slow lefty. And it works for him. His expected batting average, according to Baseball Savant, is in the 92nd percentile. While he's not getting a lot of extra base hits, he doesn't need to. Thanks to an above average walk rate and a high batting average, Larissa Rise's WRC Plus is over 150, which means he's 50% better than the league average hitter. And this is exactly why Ichiro loves him, because he hits just like Ichiro. During his prime, people speculated that if Ichiro wanted to, he could have been a power hitter, but Ichiro just wanted to get on base. Arias is the same way. After hitting a grand slam against the Rays, Arias was asked if he wanted to hit more homers. His answer? I just want to hit line drives. When the Twins visited Seattle, Ichiro was so excited that he asked to meet the Twin star, calling him his favorite left-handed hitter. And of course, Ichiro did get to meet his favorite lefty. How else do you think I got this thumbnail? Arias isn't the next power hitter. He's not like a lot of hitters in the game, but he's for real. And despite his shortcomings on the defensive side, he's someone you want on your team.